Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see availability to promise configurations in SAP SD. So first of all, let us see, let us see what is availability to promise. It's an integral part of the business process that determines if the required delivery quant delivery quantity can be met on the delivery date. Okay. Delivery quantity against confirmed quantity. Delivery date against the confirmed quantity is the availability check. The definition. Okay. Next, the process I'm going to do is I'm going to create a checking group in the transaction code OBC2. Next, I'm going to create scope of availability check in transaction code OBC9. And then I'm going to configure default values for availability checking group. And then I'm going to create a sales order in BA01. Here, the material in schedule lines not confirmed because of the because it's been ATP has been configured for the material. Okay. Now, and then I'm going to confirm the quantity B underscore B2. Finally, I'm going to deliver it in BL01 yet, and I'm going to fill the meeting. Fill the custom. Okay. Now let's go to the system. Either you can go to the transaction code directly, OBG2 or define our checking group. The transaction code is OBC2. Okay. Let me select this. Copy S. Copy S. S1. Let me use S1. ATP. L2W. Learn to win. ATP. Press enter. Copy all. Press enter. Press enter. Let me delete this. Delete this. Copying everything. This is the one. Yes, one. Yes, one. Is right. I'm going to take to promise. Save it. Control is save it. Scope of check for. Let me do one thing. Let me come out and do new entry. Go to define our checking group. New entry. Yes, one. And save it. And save it. That in. Okay, now come back. Press escape to come out. Now go to configure configure scope of our budget. Configure scope of our budget. SD order, the daily requirement SD order, copy S. Let me use copy S. S1. S1 is my S1 is my checking group. Next, I'm going to do delivery, copy S. What delivery? SD delivery, S1. Yes, For SD delivery is B. B is the SD delivery. So I have copied to CF, S1, SD order, S2, delivery. Now save it. Now come back. Configure default values for availability checking. Okay, new entry. ZFR1 is my material. Material type. Material type. AM01 is my plant. This is checking group. S1. Same. AM02. That's it, that's it. Only one. Press escape to. Yes. Let's see. So I have done three configurations. First configuration is this one. Availability checking group. I did a new entry for S1. Next, I did I did configure default values for availability checking group. Okay. Now 
I did, and then I did scope of operating system. Three, three configurations I did. Okay, one this in this configuration, one for sales order, another one for delivery. Checking group, yes, one. One for checking group, one for sales order, that is SD order, another one for sales delivery. Okay, now come back. Let me open another screen. Slash O. MM0. I'm going to create a material. Mechanical engineering. Set. Finish form. Organization levels. My plant is AM01. Storage location AM01. Distribution channel A7. Sales organization AM0. ATP material. One. Viable portals. Let's enter. Enter. Here. PD MRP. PD. MRP controller. One who controls MRP. Let me select whether it is there or not. Let me check. No values are there. Let me enter the Configurations are doing. Go to minimizes. Go to production planning. MRT controller. Production planning minimizes. Production plan. Production. MRP and scroll down. MRP groups. Define MRP group for material. New entry. Set FR1. My plant is AM01. MRP group is AM0. MRP controller. This MRP controller. Master data. It's in master data. Define MRP control. New entry. AM01. Footprint 0. AM01. MRP controller. Save it. Come back. Come back. Press escape to come out. Now let's go to material master. MRP controller. Now it will be there. Here, press enter. Lot size, yes, lot per lot. Valuation class seven nine two zero one zero change. Yes, two, yes, one. From where it has come? It has come from the configuration here. I made it here in the sales and distribution availability check. See default values for availability check. From here it is come. Position MZFR1 is my material type. From here it is come. This is the place from where it is coming. Okay. Yes, what? What it? I have made a I have made an entry here. That is the reason it has come here automatically. Transportation group and loading group. One double nine one four zero. Now go to MIG. I'm just posting the material. Processor. Other. Enter the material here. This is my material. 
let me enter the material quantity 10 quantity where am01 am0 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 7 now let's go to slash in bk11 for rising er00 press enter am0 is my store my sales organization a7 and my mid 298 is my custom. Enter the material here. Let's see. Now, let me go to BA01. 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 Let me enter the material here. We enter the quantity. But the quantity we have is 100 over 10 only. But now I'm going to enter 100 quantity. Double click onto this line item. Go to shipping. Let me enter plant. AM0. CL 90 quantities will be on the 5th of August. Only 10 quantity is confirmed. 10 quantity is confirmed. Only 10 quantity will be able to deliver. Now let me do copy. Enter storage location. AM0. Continue. Net weight and gross. When you go to schedule lines, you will be able to see only 10 got confirmed. Other 90 not not yet confirmed. Let me save this. Let me do the delivery now. BL01 deliver. 10 quantity I'm delivering at. AM01. 10 quantity. Let me deliver the 10 quantity. Picking. 10 quantity I'm just picking it. And post position. I have done post position. Okay. This is my outbound delivery. Now let me go to Migo and post another. 100 quantity and then confirm it. Enter the material. This is my material. This is my material. Okay. Press enter. Quantity. Another 100 quantity I am entering. Where? AM01, AM0. Let's see. Now let's go to slash in. BA, BA03, let's check the, now the material we have is 100, double A, but not at confirm. I'm just going to confirm it now. 90 quantity, I have to confirm. Okay, let me confirm it in the transaction code. B underscore B2, B underscore B2. My plant is AM0. Okay. Sele select, so unselect simulation, unconfirmed document, Required. Now let me execute. It gets confirmed. Yes. Now it gets confirmed. See, it has got confirmed. Okay. Let me go to slash in PA03 and let me check whether it has got confirmed or this order has been confirmed. Previously it was not confirmed. Double A. Go to schedule lines. See, 100 quantity confirmed. Now you will be able to deliver other 90 also. 90 quantity. BL01. Let me do 90 quantity pick. See, delivery quantity pick and post position. Now you can do billing. Go to BL01. You can do billing. Let me do 1. Save. Save. Now go to BA03 and check the document. Let's check the document. This is so called configurations in C 
field outbound delivery twice sided guided areas. Got it. I did. This is how you do ATP check. Available to commerce. Automatically, dates will take it. system. Based on the configurations, you do want an SPR. Thank you.